either Netanyahu was aware, and I, and I, you know, I'm not going to uh, allege that right now. His southern zone, I've, and I have called for this, his southern zone commander, the commander of the IDF and the commander or the, the, the leader of his, of his intelligence forces, they should all be removed from those positions pending the outcome of a major serious investigation to determine what caused the breakdown of security on the 7th of October. Because now, fast forward to, you know, we're getting ready to go into the third month of this thing. Doesn't look like it has any happy ending, and it looks like it's going to go on and on. And we have we have uh, uh, all kinds of weapon systems being used against U.S. forces now throughout that region. So this thing is getting really bad, and it's because there was a decision made to have a security stand down on the 7th of October for seven hours on the southern zone of Israel up against the fence line of Gaza Strip. And I'm telling you, folks, that wasn't done out of happenstance. That's not a coincidence. Somebody made that decision. Don't know whether it's Netanyahu that made it, his southern zone commander who made it. Somebody made it because there's no way in the world for the security breakdown that the Israelis had on that day. And, and General Flynn, you were telling me when we were at lunch that you've been there. You've, you've yeah. been given tours. You've been up on yep. the towers. I've, I walked, mean. I've walked it. I, I know what their intelligence, I know what their security system is made of. And I know the, the levels that they go through. They have multiple layers of defenses. They have multiple layers of electronic de detection systems. They have, they have drones. They have balloons. They have people watching them from all sorts of cameras. It is one of the most secure borders in the world, if not the most. So this is a major scandal. Oh, it's a huge scandal. And, and that's why I say, like, we, we, you know, we've got to fight this war and we've got to figure out, you know, I mean, we got to be very careful about we don't get dragged into something that we don't want. And I, there, there is a lot of people in Washington, D.C., the Uniparty, that wants us to just have this endless war where it's just a big racket of war and they make a lot of money and they make a lot of money off the U.S. taxpayers. Where do people